Sunday afternoon, just heading outside to start some jobs and seed sowing. So I've had another go at this area. Uh, that table was actually along the back of the shed and I've moved it and tidied up a bit. Um, where the acer is, the table just sort of dips over the side of the, the raised bed, but I think that'll be fine. Uh, this, this side is not quite finished and I've still got to paint there. Um, I have actually put some slabs down this side. Haven't yet. Uh, taking the mint out of the pots, but I'm wondering whether to actually leave them in the pots. Um, have a think about that. I haven't actually planted the rest of it yet. Need some more earth in there. And that is probably going to come from one of the beds over there, which I'm also going to make smaller. I need to... Um, make the garden more compact um, some more plans that I've got are where I've put this tall raised bed along the fence I think what I'm going to do is get a few more so a, a hundred a hundred wide one to go in there and then another couple of hundreds to fit along the back of here up to the Budlia. Probably only get one in there. Yeah, and possibly a hundred centimetre across here. And then I might even take that, that um, pallet divider out of there because the raised bed will do what the, the pallet is doing, then I can use that down in my compost area. Hopefully that will work out. And then this bed, these beds, well, if I go here, yeah, these, this bed here, I'm going to um, chop them in half, which means I can then slab or stone down up to the tree. So. What I'll do is I'll halve this, this bed here so the tree is in its own small bed and all these strawberry plants I'll probably take out um, and put into this bed because beyond that will be another one of these tall raised beds. That's the plan anyway. So Tuesday afternoon and I've started on this this large raised bed and it probably doesn't look large to you but it's too much for me so I'm taking this one out completely and using the soil in my potato buckets I've already done one which is where are we just there and I've got two more to fill up here and they'll be ready for my potatoes, seed potatoes that are chitting. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to use this wood somewhere else. So I've cleared that bed. This is all the wood and a lot of it is rotten. So I've just got to get rid of that or keep the best bits. Uh, I can get to my border now. Pear tree needs to be boxed in. And then I've just got this small bed that's got gooseberries in and a few strawberries. The other strawberries I've moved and put into three of the pots. 
I'm not sure whether they're going to stay there or not. I wanted to have a dedicated strawberry bed, but we'll see. They're okay there for the time being. There's a couple more in there. As I say, tomorrow, if the weather's okay, I'm going to move the gooseberries. Just put them into pots for the time being. Take up this other bed. And then order my new raised beds. <laughs> in fact, I might even do that tonight. Whew, getting there slowly. But loads of bath. I'm not sure whether these are... I don't know whether they're garlic. Don't think they are. I think they're... They could be irises. Yeah, it was a bag of 10 irises. This is my asparagus bed. Um, and I'm going to put a bit more mulch on there. It won't hurt the irises. Right. Enough. Time to go in. So, it's Sunday afternoon. Hello everybody. <laughs> this is Denise from Denise in the Garden, as you know. Um, Right, I have bought myself a load of seed trays with with the bottom trays. So they're all these little three inch or two inch even, all in the tray. So what I've done is I've filled them all up with compost. So I've got three three here and this one so four all together, fifteen pots in each one and I'm going to water them all and then add the seeds. Um, I'm probably going to do sweet peas and a few more flowers. Um, but I've left the seeds in the greenhouse, so I'm just going to go and get them and then I'll come back and sow the seeds. So. I've been to the greenhouse and got the uh, the sweet pea seeds, which are all down here. Hang on. Sorry, not organised. So these are my own saved ones. Um, this one is called Melody Mix. This one is Giant Wave Mixed. They're all similar colours. And then this one is the Old Fashioned Mix. So they're the ones that I'm going to be sowing. But while I was in the greenhouse, I have got uh, one of these deep um, seed trays and also one of the, the normal seed trays that have got the domed lids on them. Um, the, the deep one is full of my onion seedlings, but I had one tray left. That I haven't got anything in so I'm going to sow the sweet peas into this tray but I need to sieve some some of my compost which is down here so I'm sieving some of this miracle grow so it's a bit finer for the seedlings and I'm going to top these up and then I'm going to sow the sweet peas into here so I'll just carry on and so this is what I'm doing. This this sieve was out of an old um, halogen cooker that I have that I don't use anymore. So that's what I've been doing. I'm sieving it. So I'll use that. And then this is going into this box here, which I'm going to use as a mulch on my beds. So... So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next minute. So I'll show you once I'm ready to sow the seeds. Okay. So this is the sieved compost, which I'm now going to put into here just to top it up. And then I'll put the, um, the uh, it's So that's quite handy actually because there's there's four pots and I've got four packs of seeds. So what I'll put, do is put 
half a dozen seeds in each section. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So that's now I haven't watered it and I think I'll put the seeds in. I know you're supposed to water the the compost, but um, so this is the old fashioned mix. I've got quite a few in there. I might sow some more later on. So two, four, so I've got eight here. So I'll just put So, as you can see, there's the eight seeds. So I'll do the same in each pot, and then I'll put compost on the top and water them in. So, so I've just opened my saved seed packet, and unfortunately, I don't know if you can see that, um, some of the seeds are actually sprouting already, so it must have got damp. So what I'm going to do, what I've done, is I've put, let me show you, I'm going to get this so I've put in here quite a few more of the, the ones that are already sprouting. Now I obviously wasn't careful enough to dry them out properly. So I don't know whether these are going to survive or not. But what I think I might do is just just sow the rest of these in another pot somewhere and just see if they survive. I've got plenty of soil here. So what I might do is find a little pot. I've got a pot here. with the rest of these and just in fact I might take some of these out of here in fact I'll take all of them out of here and I'll put all my own saved seed into this pot and then I can tell whether they've survived or not and then just be a lot carefuler at the end of this year and I say I mean this the seed that I said was actually from all these seeds that I've just sown in here so, so I can now mark that one up the saved seed and I'll just put a few more of the actual packet ones and if we've got this one I'll I'll just finish that packet off. So that's the um, the melody mix, which is in there, and and it's also in this one. So I know that those two end ones are the melody mix. I don't think you're supposed to put this many in, but I think next year I'll probably get more seed. I don't know what the date on these are. I should have sowed these all last year so yeah might not be. I wonder what dates on these. I know these are 2024 so that's all right. So those two end ones should have been sowed last year so they might not come out. These are still 2024. I'm going to need to sow the rest of these this year so if I've got any of these seed pots left over once I've done my vegetables, then I might put them in there. Okay, let's just top these off. And this one. Oh, 
Right, I need to write some good. It's not got any wooden ones on there. Okay, where do we go? That's the stones. Sweet pea. Saved. So that can go in there. And I'm just putting sweet peas, but I'll put that in there and then I'll know that that's the two that end. Right, I'm going to go and put this one back in the, the tray in the greenhouse with the onion seeds and I'll take this one and put that on one of my shelves and then we'll come back. Yeah, I'll come back and I'll uh, grow some vegetables. Hopefully not. So I've just popped in indoors to get my January seed box with all the seeds in. Um, but I bought the February one out as well because it's got all my cucumber and my chilies and everything. So I might sow a few of those today as well. So cheers for now. I'm just drinking my coffee. So let's have a look. I'll just look inside the January one and see what we've got. So I've got some more onion and some carrot, some red pepper, um, sweet asti they are, they're red and a yellow mix, those, and then this one is my sweet cubanelle, I've got a cayenne pepper, these are my aubergine little finger they're like the little purple ones that i grew last year and then i've also got a couple more i mean i've sewed i've got oh, how many tried five of these these trays sorry you can't see these trays but the long ones um full of onions and these are two more, which I might, I mean, we like onions and garlic as well. Uh, but these are the spring onion Ishikura. So I'm going to, and I've got some Ailsa Craig onions already sown. But I might sow a few more. Because like I say, we eat a lot of onions. <laughs> so that's all in the January box. And then in my February box, I have got... cucumber this is one of the packets of seeds that came with my kitchen garden magazine so i might put a couple of those in uh some more welsh onions now i've got a load of welsh onions already in that end of the a box down there which i will show you so i might leave those till mid-february uh, this one is walla walla i've also got those so they can wait. Right, my leeks. Definitely going to put those into the January box because I haven't sown leeks yet. The long red Florence I've already got in. Then I've got. Now these are all my tomato seeds, which are saying 
So that's another leak. I might do those. Oh, these are all hot ones. And now I haven't got a heated space. So they're only going into my greenhouse. So I might, I'm going to wait until February for those. Um, and then there's more tomatoes in here. Again, I'm going to wait until February. That one? Oh yeah, there's all my tomatoes. And I've got a celery there. Now this is this is one that um, Ali sent me from my rusty garden. Um, it's got a C on it. I'm assuming that they might be cosmos, but I'm going to leave that until February as well. And then I've got more hot chilies. So most of the stuff in here is chilli. So I'm going to leave all of that. As I say, just the leeks and the cucumber. The rest can hang fire until February. I know February's next week, but I'm going to give it another couple of weeks, I think. Right, so let's put those out of the way. So this, this tray here has, I don't know if you can see, this one has already got seeds in, and those are my shallots, the Zebrun shallots. And the second one is little gem lettuce which are in there and nothing's happened yet so and i sowed those oops don't mind just got something in the back a few weeks ago and nothing's happened yet probably not warm enough yet so i'm now going to get rid of the sweet peas cucumber so Two of these and just see what happens. Oops. So it says sow them on their side. In fact, there's four seeds out, so I think I'll sow the four. I can always give a couple to my next door neighbour because he likes cucumbers. So I can give them a couple of plants. They're on their side, a little bit of top. Sorry, I'm reading and not talking to you. Um, now these are long cucumbers that grow to about 20 inches and i've never grown the long i've always usually grown the little snap size cucumbers so it'll be interesting to see whether i do any better with these um we'll see so these are called chinese slangen Long slender cucumbers up to 20, 20 inches with some spines. Very sweet with few seeds. Great for outdoor crops. It says you can grow them outdoors, but wait and see on that. So that's that one done. Put that back in the bottom of the box. And right up my. Not writing. Why is that not writing? Right. That's those. A little bit of water. Right. That's that one down. Right. The, uh... Actually, no, the leaks, I think. I'm going to put in these deeper pots, so I'll put those there. That's leak, that's leak. 
let's try the spring onion. These are the sweet pepper and they are the, uh, the cubanelle. I'm going to put two in each pot, I think. Three in each one then. So that's the cubanelle and now I'm going to do the oh no that is the cubanelle I've done that one come on wake up Denise let's do this one this is the KN now, these did really well for me last year and I've got loads of um, the uh, pepper mix so I dehydrated all my peppers and then chopped it all up. Um, and I use them as a as a spice mix. So I've got loads of these. So I think we might do three again in each pot. I need some more water. That's a water bottle and that's an old chilli bottle actually that I use for watering my my pots. It's easier than a watering can. So let's just water these peppers. Okay, that's that done. Give it a tag. So they're cayenne, aren't they? Yeah, so that's that one. That one sorted. So I'll put that into the into the greenhouse. I just found my garlic that I got the other day um, with my potatoes and it's called Cristo and I need need to sort those out and plant them as well but they can wait there for a while right what else have we got let's do the leeks into here so i've got muscle bra which is the one that mostly everybody does and then this one is called from seedcraft it's a uh, blue soleil's I see, so I'm going to put, not sure how many muscle bra I've got left, in fact I've got a funny feeling I haven't got any, maybe I've already sewn them, I think I must have, <laughs> I've got one, no you can go in there then, um, I wonder if I've planted them somewhere and I've forgotten that I've done it and I didn't mark it. That's one that's gone, so we'll just be planting the blue soleils then. And again, leeks are another thing that we like, so I'm tending this year to just just sow the stuff that I know we're going to eat. Which is another one, one of the reasons why I'm reducing the size of my growing area. It's just too much. How many spaces that I have, I'm going to put flower seeds in. I 
think the soaking is so that they, when you do eventually water them, they, the seeds don't all disappear. <gasps> oh, it could be having leeks growing in the stones. <laughs> I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do the whole lot. Why not? So I'll do two lots of these. I mean, if I run out of bed space, I've got loads of black pots, pots, you know, the big 30 litre ones that a lot of people use for potatoes. So I can always sow leeks in pots if I run out of garden space. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's emptied again. Right. Leaks done. What else have we got? Right. Aubergines. My aubergine little finger, which are these again. These are they run out in November, so these might not work either. So I'll put four in each pot, I think. I've got a feeling that some of these won't take. So it might be best to just get rid. Right, I'm sure I've got a label for these. Just use an old one. My little finger. That's that one done. What else have we got? Just more peppers, I think. Although I have got some carrots here, but with the carrots, I want to sew those straight into the bed outside. So that I will do later on, I think. Not today. So, I did the Ishikura, didn't I? More onions, don't want more onions. Let's do some more peppers. Sweet pepper. Right, I've got one left. Not sure what to do. Not those. Let's have a look in the February box again. Is there something I can put in there? Not the Welsh onions. Hot lemon. What's this one? That's one thing. That's onions again. Let's try the frigatella. They were quite good. Okay, that's enough for today, I think. There we go. Right, I've run out of compost. I'm going to empty some out of one of these. Right, so that's that.
so lots more to do but that's um that's it for today i'll do some more tomorrow bye for now so these are the two um seed boxes that all my seeds are in so this is the deep root one i'm going to take the top off shouldn't really but i'm going to whoops so those these are all the onions that i was talking about so elsa craig long red florence the walla walla onions welsh onions those there are my leeks that i couldn't find um some red baron and the end one is the sweet peas so let's put that back on and leave those to do whatever they are they going to do or they're not going to do and then this one is the smaller smaller one and in here are the zebrun shallots the little gem lettuce this one is the cucumbers. These are the Ishikura. This one is the Cubanel peppers. And this one is the Cayenne. So that's those. So this is the other side of the greenhouse where I've got all the most of the flowers and the the leeks yeah the leeks and everything and I've just sort of made my own little plastic covers these are old meat and vegetable trays that I've put over the top and the ends off my I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's all I've got and you just have to use whatever you can. So, yeah, that's what I'm using at the moment. And up here, these are my, the pak choy that I did um, back in, I think I planted those in October. And as you can see, a couple of them are starting to go to seed, but that's fine. I'm going to save the seed because I haven't got any more pak choy seeds but I need to start using some of this I think as sort of stir fry leaves but yeah good just showing oh, strawberries in here are doing well even got a flower on that one another strawberry some more down here and that was some lettuce that I started and I think I need to take that out and use that compost somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit dark, but I wanted to show you how my rhubarb's doing in these two large boxes. So this is the best head of rhubarb. And this is the other one, which is not quite as big, but it is doing okay. So, let's see, what this, this one is amazing. Beautiful. Look at that. Anyway. Yes, I know you're there. Beautiful blackbird. With all my neighbour's greenhouse yes you are beautiful Right, I'll leave him to it. He wants to get to the bird table. Oh, my lights are starting to come on now. And the fish. The 
fact it's warming up slightly there moving around again which is good I'm hoping that some of the fry that were that I filmed during the summer have survived and we will get a few more larger fish anyway it's getting cold out here it is five o'clock. Oops. Yeah. Five to five. So time to go.